I don't know. When did they start adding that? It's like I twang in country music. When did that start? Country music's always been twangy. That's just has it. No, I don't think so. I mean, if you if like, I feel like it started of twangy. Non twangy country music. Yeah, I think it started twangy and has gotten less twangy. Perhaps. And then what happens now is you'll hear like some good bluegrass and go, oh, the twang is there. Yeah, so. but is bluegrass twangy? My baby don't dance to nothing but her. <laughs> Oh, I'm here for this. Whatever this is, Tom singing. This is great. Oh, you know what? That could be gr that could be like a, a little bit in the GDI where uh, Tom sings the hits. I got All a right. gal no, 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 no. that's mighty peculiar. Got a funny ass state of mind. This is good stuff, man. <laughs> Just cut an album, Tom. We're ready. Uh, yeah, I should. Cutting cutting an album and cutting the rug with Tom yeah. Aaron and Scott Johnson. Uh, my baby don't That's dance your new podcast, nothing guys. but Ernest Tubb. How much would I have to pay Justin to drink a big old mug of mayo? It befuddles the jerks <laughs> that whenever mayo is... Hey, food politics are among the most bizarre things <laughs> that ever exist. But whenever I mention that I don't like mayo... Almost universally. How much does this mean to you? But what about blank? But what about, what if you ate a bunch of it? Would you vomit? Would you throw up? Would right. you? Is a thousand dollars enough for you? It's almost accusatory. Like, there's like, a, like, I'm, like I'm not eating mayo for attention or something. <laughs> right. Tom is now eating. Oh, just, you guys made me hungry talking that's, about. Oh, Tom, oh, that's so Tom gross. Tom Merritt. Mm. I, even I don't like the look of that. Literally, we literally in our pre-call was like, Tom was like, hey, look, guys, I got a dentist appointment. Obviously, L.A. traffic. So just so you know, we're not going to be screwing around. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to I, I shovel some mayo into my mouth smash, right now. Smash cut to Tom scampering off. Off to his uh, pantry so he can eat a, a gigantic novelty spoonful of mayo in front of me. And everyone, you know, with back issues knows this. It's like, it's like one false move. Even, you know, um, throwing the tennis ball for you know who, you know, like it's very like it's a gingerly Roger. thing that's happening for <laughs> yes. When Roger wants to run after the tennis ball for hours on end. One of our know? favorite things at CES, me and Roger chasing <laughs> that tennis ball that Sarah was throwing for us. You know, it's just they just they're very uh yeah, I'm, it's I'm like, very excited. They're prey balls. oriented. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh we should all go to Casa Vega and celebrate that you liked <laughs> once upon a time in Hollywood. Next I'm time. I'm not you're going down. there. Why? Because I don't know, it's cursed. What? No, Casa Vega, the restaurant. Oh, I thought you. I thought that was the name of the house. <laughs> no. Tom's <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> like, like, you know, what we should do road trip. Let's go up the Let's hill. Go to the mansion. Let's go to the mansion. Let's go to Cloud uh, Lane. Uh, uh, Casa Vega is. At one point, they stopped at the, at the Sherman Oaks uh, uh, oh, institution. Yes, Casa yes, Vega. Yes, and they're yes, at the big red booth, this. and they're talking. That I go there all the time. Uh, it's, a great, it's a great place in mm -hmm. the valley. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not going. I'm not setting foot in Casa Vega. I wonder why you're <laughs> like, like, oh, I do not <laughs> like Mexican food. That's scary. <laughs> yeah. Haunted tortilla chips. No, no, no. This was good. This was a good place. 